How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now. And I hope everybody's doing well. And I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning into today's video. Tonight's the big presidential debate. In one corner you have former President Donald Trump. And in the other corner you have Comrade Kamala Harris. And of course there will be many topics that they'll be debating about. And one they most likely will be debating about is gun control and the Second Amendment. The Harris Walls campaign. Some people call it are hiring veterans. Some people call it recruiting veterans to try to influence social media. And what do they want them to influence about? And among other topics, gun control. We've heard it about other presidential races, but I think you all agree with me that this is true, that this presidential race is a battle for the future of America. We know how much Harris and Walsh are gun-hating pieces of shit, but they actually are recruiting veterans to help sell their anti-gun agenda. So most likely you will see on social media a military veteran who said they have carried a rifle in battle and that those types of weapons should not be on the streets of America, even though they're not the same at all. And when you do see those ads, just a reminder, they're paid shills. And how we know this is happening is because our friends at the Second Amendment Foundation through their investigative journalism project, last week obtained an email that a marketing firm called People First, which they are described as a precision micro-influencer, and they're hiring veterans, but they're hiring them and paying them to be social media influencers for the Kamala Harris Walls campaign. Of course, we know a lot of veterans know some things about guns, some more than others. And if they can get a veteran to call for an AR-15 ban, they definitely chalk that up as a win. And that's why Tim, if his lips are moving, he's lying walls, is loved so much by Brady and Giffords and Everytown. But not so much now, since everyone has found out he's using stolen valor to try to win an election. So the so-called influencing firm, called People First, is well known for being anti-gun and anti-Second Amendment. And unfortunately, what I've heard about them they do a very good job at what they do. And of course this firm is located, guess where? New York City. And their plan is to recruit veterans. But then in their email they go on to say, living in seven key battleground states, that they're really open to hire anyone with what they call a compelling story, no matter where they live. Now here's something about their email. It's very carefully worded, but it really doesn't mention gun control at all. But remember I mentioned earlier, that People First in the past has pushed an anti-gun agenda. And even though they don't say it in the email, that will be definitely a part of this ongoing effort. Most likely these social media spots will go something like this. There will be a veteran saying they served and carried a rifle in Iraq or Afghanistan or both. And civilians have no business having that rifle out on the streets. And of course it'll get lots of views and shares. And of course the left-leaning news media will grab a hold of that story and run with it. A lot of guys deployed over there, but they never left an area that was secure. They never fired one shot in a battle, and most likely the only time they fired their rifle was at the range. And most likely, they don't know very much about guns. Of course, they might actually find somebody that actually did deploy and fought in battle and has that same mindset. But remember, they're being paid to do so. They're paid shills. In my opinion, it's really hard to believe somebody, especially if they're being paid for what they're saying. Somebody might actually want to tell their story, but of course it might not be exactly what they want. So the people for the campaign might take some things out. They'll definitely add some things in and embellish the story. I don't know how much they're paying these people to do this, but I assume it's thousands of dollars. And the way the economy is today and how veterans are treated, they actually might take them up on their offer because they actually need the money in these spots that they're going to put on social media. How do we really know this is what the person actually believes? Or is it they're doing it so they can get a paycheck and say what the campaign is actually telling them to say? They say a veteran that pushes gun control is a violation of their oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. So I have a couple of questions for you guys. Anybody that's doing this, are they paid shills? And does it violate their oath? Let me know in the comments section down below. This just shows you how desperate the Kamala Harris Walls campaign is to push their anti-gun agenda 
And as I mentioned earlier in the video, the presidential debate is tonight. I don't know about you, but I'll be watching the whole thing, and probably with a bowl of popcorn, to watch President Trump knock that smile right off of Comrade Kamala's face and watch him destroy her on that stage. As always, I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I really do appreciate it. And I invite you to come back and watch my next video.